Book 2, Chapter 12 Insomnia deciphered for Will new rhythms of light in the city that surrounded him. With windows facing every direction in his apartment, he fought the cold with caulk in hand, filled the cracks and gaps between the floors and walls, stayed up late drinking coffee and beer and ginger ale, listening to Neil Young in the stones. He pleaded with Helen to accompany him. She did. Smoke rose between her fingers and into her eyes. She endured his madness. Good old Lance came over and suggested places where he might get away. Communes in Northern California and Nevada, where redwood trails wound over hundreds of acres and casinos were far removed. He tried to help Will get over the insomnia. You ought to drink hot soy milk, he said. Take blankets into the bathroom and lock the door behind you and sleep in a tub of salts and vinegar. I can't be curling up in bathtubs, Will replied. That's infantile. That's fetal. At the very least, you could put some soy milk on the stove. You're as stubborn as a mule, Will. I have no milk in this house. What is this, the lactic tub cure? Lance frustrated him to fatigue. The cold could not touch him when he finally crawled under the covers where his girl entwined her legs and arms in his and fell into a semi-lucid state, then got up and paced and stirred the air before the sun and left Helen fast asleep to walk the peace of the sky to the elevated train four blocks away, past the police station, past the crackheads who outstayed the whores in the morning, like a new obscurity, like the night.